Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Uh, we just got Morden in the last video set here, so I guess, yeah, we can talk to him. Let's see what, if he's got anything Shepard, to say yet. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with the plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. <laughs> it must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre's similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. <laughs> you said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally <laughs> prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Now I should mention that it's actually real important to talk to your crew in this game because if you want to make it through the suicide mission at the end, uh, you really do need to get all their dialogue trees unlocked. I've heard of people not getting certain things done and it doesn't go well. Let's see what we have for upgrades that we can do. Yeah, we'll we'll buy that. Was there anything else worth doing in here? Yeah, more medi gels always good. And I can't do anything. No. Um. Sure. And why not? We'll buy everything that we can. All right. Let's go talk to Jacob real quick. I believe he is over here. Yep. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt His waist looks weird. Past. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Alright, he should probably have a little bit more dialogue options Commander. here. Can I help you with something? Uh, let's How just doing, ask him real quick. What's your sense of the mission? If Morden's modifications hold up, we've got a shot. If they don't, we're dead. Seems like that was always a strong possibility, though. Anything else, Commander? It's been like five minutes we've been on this mission here. Uh... I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the saying? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. 
The too. whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. Maybe that's why he wears dark pants. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. What is he doing with his head there? Can we afford this? Yes, we can. Let's buy it now. Uh, you do need to get the ship upgrades too because, uh, well, you'll see why, but definitely important yeah. to do that. Can I help and we're good with that. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Man, Already? she's like coming on to I'm him. Big on forcing these talks, Shepard. That's Let's creepy. Do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. And Shepard. I do not know why she was coming on so hard with him. All right, let's check our crap here. We have unread. Oh my God, there's like seven billion unread things. All the DLCs have met. Ugh. This is read everything. I'm not gonna actually look at it because that is just too much crap. That's probably Commander, gonna be. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. I really better not have Kelly because I just dealt with like 50 of them. All right, let's go down to the crew quarters and talk to Miranda real quick here. Yeah, I definitely like the way they designed the Normandy a lot better at this with the multiple decks and all that. And how people have their own little areas so you know where to find them and stuff. I guess they had their own little areas in the other game too, but... It actually tells you where they're located on the map here. And these are all locked right now, aren't they? Oh, we can go in the the bathroom. The women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Oh, that was the men's room, I guess. Get yelled at. What's in here? Oh yeah, the crew quarters. How old? Ah, should be a year old next month. I do not care, crew members. There's the women's bathroom. And Dr. Chakwa should be over here. Let's go talk to her. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. We will definitely get that stuff. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Alrighty. There's a good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Alright, cool. We will find some brandy. One of these things lets me fix my face. Do I still even have the scars? Eh, I can't. I don't think so. One of those things does let you fix the What's face, this though. this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide... That's all Sorry, Edie, I don't... I, I know it's a sick bay. 
Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Oh man, this guy's creepy. Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare real a weird looking. deal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Right. If I had that Seriously way, gonna go grocery out. shopping? Awesome. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh, let's just... I don't we'll care about his history. Back to work. Sorry, chef guy. 